Hello friends, we are going to continue with redemption of debentures. Right? And we have been discussing about various methods for redemption of debenture. In that we have been discussing about third method that is purchase of own debentures from open market right that is the company instead of going to the debenture holder to discharge its debenture liability that is the company instead of paying to the debenture holder the, it buys its own debentures from the open market and discharge the liability of debentures in that I told you that redemption of debentures can be for two types right either at par or at premium now in the last lecture we discussed about redemption of debentures at par and redemption is done by purchase of own debentures from open market and immediately the company is immediately cancelling the own debentures right so this is the case that we discussed that redemption at par we issued the debentures at 100 rupees and we are redeeming the debenture at 100 rupees we have taken 100 rupees from people and we are paying back 100 rupees that is at par now in this case there were further three cases if purchase price is equal to nominal value no profit no loss if purchase price is less than the nominal value then you have gain this gain I told you is a capital gain and will be transferred to capital reserve if purchase price is more than nominal value in this case normally the company will not buy its own debentures in case the purchase price from the open market is more than the nominal value you have to pay a debenture holder 100 rupees and if you go to the market you will have to pay 105 rupees for that debenture why will you buy it from the open market you will pay to the debenture holder 100 rupees right then it is a loss this loss again will be transferred to capital reserve so this is what we discussed in the last lecture now today now in this lecture what we are going to discuss is redemption at premium redemption at premium and we are redeeming debentures by purchase of own debentures from open market right now the nominal value of debenture is rupees 100 right and redeemable value of debenture is 105 that is you are redeeming the debenture at a premium of rupees 5 now that means you have to pay rupees 105 to mr. X clear now again we have three cases if the purchase price of debenture in the open market is equal to nominal value of the debenture that is 100 rupees and nominal value is equal to 100 rupees you will say it is a no profit no loss situation no there is a profit in this situation you have to see there is a company there is mr. X right and there is open market now tell me how much money you have to pay to Mr. X 100 or 105 105 but if you go to the open market to buy your own debenture your own debenture is available at the nominal value of the debenture nominal means the face value what is the face value 100 rupees 5 rupees is premium now the company is having a gain on this transaction company is having a gain on this transaction gain to the extent of premium that is 
5 rupees now what will be the journal entry in this case first of all we will buy our own debentures own debentures account debit to bank account how much 100 and 100 right then say we have 10 percent debentures we have to cancel the own debentures and redeem the original debentures for that we will debit the 10 percent debentures with the nominal value or the face value then premium on redemption of debentures account debit how much five rupees to own debentures what is the purchase price of own debentures 100 rupees then what is this 5 rupees this 5 rupees is to gain to gain on cancellation of own debentures account this is 5 rupees clear clear friends this is the case where purchase price of the debenture is equal to nominal value of the debenture. This is how then the gain will be to the extent of premium on redemption of debenture. If redemption is at premium. If redemption is at par, there is no gain, no loss. If it is at premium, then gain is to the extent of premium on redemption. Right? Now, let's see the second case. Second case is if purchase price is less than the nominal value. That is 90 rupees is the purchase price. Nominal value is 100 rupees. But the redemption is at a premium. Now there is a company. You have to pay Mr. X who is the debenture holder. Or you have the option of going to the open market and buy your own debentures. Right? Now, how much you have to pay to the Mr. X? You have to pay 105 rupees. And if you go to the open market, your debenture is available in the open market at 90 rupees. That is, you can buy your own debenture and discharge your debenture liability by paying 90 rupees instead of 105 rupees. So, there is a clear cut gain of 15 rupees. Now, what will be the journal entry? First, you will buy your own debentures. Own debentures account debit to bank account. Right? How much? 90. Now, when you have to cancel your own debentures, you will debit your original debentures which are to be redeemed. 10% debentures account debit then we have premium on redemption account debit 10% debentures will have the face value premium 5 rupees to own debentures 90 rupees and what is the gain to gain on cancellation How much is the gain? 15. Right? In this 15, if you bifurcate, 10 rupees is the face value gain and 5 rupees is the premium gain. Clear? So the total gain of the company for buying its own debentures from the open market is 15 rupees in this case. Clear? See the diagram? You have to pay Mr. X 105 rupees, but you are discharging your liability by buying debentures from the open market at rupees 90. So there is a clear cut gain of 15 rupees. Now out of that 15 rupees, 10 rupees is the gain on the face value of debenture and 5 rupees is the premium on redemption. Clear? Now let us do the third case. The third case here is if the purchase price is more than the nominal value. 
in this we have further two cases first is say purchase price is 102 rupees which is greater than the nominal value of 100 rupees now there is a company right you have to pay mr x certain amount mr x your debenture holder or you can go to the open market buy your own debentures and discharge the liability you have to pay mr x 105 rupees and if you go to the market if you go to the open market your debenture is available at 102 rupees still there is a gain of how much rupees 3 rupees purchase price is more than the nominal value still we are having the gain why because there is a premium on redemption because of that we are having a gain remember the case of redemption at par in that case if the purchase price is greater than the nominal value then we have loss but here we have a situation where we can have the gain we can have the loss also first i am taking up the situation where we are having a gain you have to pay 105 rupees to mixture x but if you go to the open market buy your own debenture it will cost you 102 right so what will be the journal entry see in the first two cases you have to transfer this gain to capital reserve like we have done in the first case right so i'm not passing those journal entries okay own debentures account debit to bank how much if you go to the open market your debenture is available at 102 then you have to cancel these own debentures 10 percent debentures account debit nominal value always nominal value then premium on redemption account debit how much is the premium five rupees to own debentures 102 rupees and what is the gain 3 rupees to gain on cancellation 3 rupees right if this premium is not there then the redemption is at par that in, ca in that case the 2 rupees will be the loss but here we have premium on redemption because of that we have a situation of gain now in case of premium also if the purchase price is more than the nominal value we can we can have a situation of loss also how let us see purchase price is greater than nominal value say purchase price is 108 rupees which is more than nominal value now there is a company you have to pay mr x your debenture holder or you can go to the open market buy your own debentures buy your own debentures and discharge your debenture liability you have to pay mr x 105 rupees but if you go to the open market to buy your own debenture you will have to pay 108 rupees right now including premium you were to pay 105 rupees to mr x but if you go to the open market you will have to pay 108 to discharge your liability <coughs> clear now in this case what will be the journal entries first of all we are buying our own debentures own debentures account debit to bank account 108 108 now when you have to cancel these own debentures 10 percent debentures account debit always nominal value you know you have premium on redemption you will debit that premium on redemption account debit 5 rupees now to own debentures 108 rupees now you have a difference of 3 rupees here what is this 3 rupees loss on cancellation of own debentures account debit that is 3 rupees so in the third case where purchase price is greater than nominal value you can have a case where you will have the gain right or you can have loss also 
if the purchase price is less than the total of nominal and the premium then you will have gain otherwise you will have a loss now this loss is again to be transferred to capital reserve capital reserve account debit with 3 rupees to loss on cancellation account 3 rupees clear so friends these are the various cases for redemption of debentures if redemption is at premium and you are going to the open market to buy your own debentures always identify two things what is the amount that is payable to the debenture holder and what is the amount we will have to pay if we go to the open market always compare these two things amount that is payable to the debenture holder including the premium right and the amount what is payable in the open market to buy the own debentures always compare these two things to find out whether there is a gain or there is a loss right so remember these two things the amount payable to debenture holder including premium and if we go to the open market to buy your own debentures what will be the amount payable in that case right accordingly find out whether there is a gain or a loss on the transaction and accordingly that gain or loss will be transferred to capital reserve clear right friends always draw this small diagram this will help you even in the exam in the rough work in the last page you can draw this diagram right i hope this much is clear friends so if you have any queries just send me an email right at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com right now in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to do some practical problems on this aspect right we are going to do some practical problems on this clear so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much